What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to capture both Snorlax from this game, evolve our Weeping Bell into a Victory Bell, and, uh, well, let's see, get a few good items, you know, like an item finder, uh, a Super Rod, yes, we definitely need a Super Rod for those, uh, uh, mysterious Pokemon in the sea and now it is time for us to go straight to the cycling road now in order to get to the cycling road a you have to capture Snorlax capture or defeat it B you got to have a bicycle because if you don't then well you're SOL right here and a lot of good Pokemon right here now I did mention in the last episode that we're not gonna be battling every single trainer here in fact we're gonna be you know we're going to be skipping quite the majority of these trainers right here in Cycling Road and battling them off screen. That way we can get to the important parts of Pokemon Yellow, like the gym battles, uh, the Team Rocket issues, which I think we're almost done with, and the legendary Pokemon. I'm pretty sure many of you guys already have that covered in my, oh, my original Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. So, here we are taking on a cycle or a... Uh, Wow, I completely forgot his name. A uh, right, a bicyclist, or you know, motorcyclist, or whatever, a gangster, whatever. Not paying attention. A biker, yes. Okay, and yes, we're gonna be battling with our, you know, with our team right here, and we're gonna make sure that they're gonna be leveled up because we do have one more Pokemon that can actually evolve, and that is Torpedo. And I kind of want to do that. As many of you guys already know, uh, <laughs> some of these Pokemon that I've been using, I've been putting in the work in the last few episodes. Still can't believe. We managed to defeat Sabrina the way we did. So let's go with Torpedo right here. And uh, I know it's going to be an interesting battle right here. Anywho, I can't believe I'm saying this, but we are very, very close to being done with this walkthrough. Wow, it's like, uh, who would have thought that, who would have thought that, you know, it would have been a little bit simpler right here. Kind of miss games like these, but, you know, as many of you guys already know, the. Pokemon games usually progress and add just a little bit more content, which is no problem whatsoever. It's just, it's kind of a, it's kind of funny how we're starting from uh, square one, and you know, everything seems so uh, so simple right here. If you guys know what I mean, and uh, you know that just it, it just it gets me excited for what's next, and that's the next walkthrough, which is Pokemon Crystal, and uh, you know I can't wait to bring in the new teams and whatnot. Can't wait to start playing the other games too. As many of you guys already know, um, I stopped playing Moon. I stopped playing Brilliant Diamond for this particular reason because I want to make these games better, and I want to. Well, I, I want to make the content better right here for my channel. So um, I do apologize if I didn't finish Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and I didn't get to the you know important parts like you know the Shaman event and all that stuff, but. I kind of wanted to prepare for all this stuff right here, so eventually we'll get to some of the remake games right here. I'm, I'm actually thinking of doing uh, remakes for the weekends, but that is that is only that's yet to be seen since you know my weekends are gonna get a little more hectic and all that stuff. My schedule is gonna continue to change, and you know we we'll, we shall see you guys. Never say never onto this channel right here. So as you can see, taking on Mankey, and well. Mankey is looking uh, pretty, uh, you know what. Now, the goal is to evolve Torpedo by the time we take on uh, Koga. Um, we still need to hit up another route. Actually, there's quite a few routes that I haven't... Well, there's a route that I did skip. Um, that is the route next to the Diglett's Cave. Um, yeah, completely skip that route just to... Just be, just mainly because the, there's nothing of importance right there. I do not know why I did that. Okay. But there's nothing uh, nothing too important in that area except you're going to be seeing the Snorlax that's blocking the way. So, yeah, there's, uh, again, I'm sorry if I'm skipping, a, uh, skipping out on a quite a few things. But it's more, for me, it's more the important parts of the, of the walkthrough that I need to showcase right here. And as you can see, Sir Razor is kicking some butt right now. And, <laughs> wow, this is the second time I've been called a little rat. Okay. All right. Yeah, I just bumped into you. Okay, so many of these guys take these things a little too seriously. But here we go, taking on another biker. And, well, coming out with a wheezing. This is going to be an interesting challenge for my torpedo right here. And let's go ahead and use an ice beam. And does that work? Nope, it doesn't do anything except we're going to get some sludge in our faces. 
And that right there will take the majority of our HP. So let's go right ahead and switch out to Aaliyah and start kicking some butt right here. And the smog attack does not work, so let's go straight to the Thunderbolt. Now, I've been getting questions. Uh, for the legendary Pokemon, I'm going to save that for last in this uh, this walkthrough, mainly because, well, I kind of want to make it the same thing with, you know, the other walkthroughs that will come in. Um, there might be one or two impromptu battles with the legendary, the legendary Pokemon right there, but, you know, we will get it, we will get it done. I am actually going to include the, the Mew Glitch right here. You know, th that's the reason why I didn't battle certain trainers over at uh, Cerulean City. And, well, let's see. Here we go with the Grimer. Holy crud, okay. And I probably should he should have healed up my Pokemon right here. So, let's go straight to Terramon. Now, the Pokemon that they evolved via trade, that is a... Uh, you know, I'm kind of amazed because they are very, very powerful. And I can see why you needed to trade them or you need to trade them to get them and all that because they are very very powerful especially here in generation one Terramon is you know has been proven to be a very very uh, reliable Pokemon right here and well here comes a Grimer so let's go straight to Aaliyah let's go ahead and uh, reach level 40 because uh, once we get to Koga it's not gonna get any easier I think I mentioned this uh, a few episodes ago um, when I was playing Pokemon Yellow by myself, I had it in mind that Koga was not going to be as strong as he is here. But when we started battling Koga at level 40 to 50, that right there kind of just uh, it kind of surprised me. It took me for uh, yeah, it kind of it kind of caught me off guard mainly because it's like I didn't expect that. I was expecting the red blue versions kind of of, of Koga right there. And well, there's Grimer defeated. And yes, the biker has been defeated. And I've already made you mad, bro, so I don't know why you're kind of, uh, you know, whatever. Alrighty, so here we go. Another biker wants to battle us. And this guy is a cue ball. So normally cue balls right here are a little, uh, a little meaner. And again, I completely forgot about Torpedo. Yeah, okay, so let's go straight to Godzilla. We all know it's got its fly attack and the most... Yeah, the low kick right here, not effective. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so let's go straight for a fly attack. Try and hit me right now, and there's no leer, so here it goes. Fly attack for the win. And just like that, defeated. And, well, no more cue ball. I think there's one more Pokemon trainer here. Let's see. Nope, that's all of them. So, like I said, guys, it's going to be random battles here and there. Uh, some Pokemon that you can actually find right here um, are include uh, Ponyta. So if you guys are looking for a Ponyta, this is the place to go. And, well, just like that, we are included in another battle. And again, I completely forgot to heal my Pokemon. Holy crud. Oh my god. Okay, so here comes a Voltorb. Here, co here comes a Speedo Torpedo. That is not a good matchup, so let's go straight to Sir Razor right here. Oh my god, look at that plant, and here comes a light screen attack, so let's go straight for an acid, and, hmm, I wonder if uh, acid is a special attack right here, nope, it's not, it looks like to me it is a physical attack, I don't know how that could be physical, but here we go, acid attack, for the win, and just like that, Voltorb has been defeated, and... Well, we're getting more experience points right there for both our Pokemon, but we're going to continue on right here with Sir Razor. And, well, there's that Screech attack right there. Not going to work. So let's go right again. And here's the Acid attack. And just like that, we take more than enough. And holy crud, okay, Sonic Boom, you got to be careful for because 28 automatic HP is right there. So here goes the Acid attack. And just like that, Voltorb has been defeated. And another biker bites the dust right there. Okay. All right, so we're just driving. We're driving. And before we do anything, I'm pressing that B button right here, okay? So I'm going to heal my Pokemon because, yeah. Kind of want to, kind of want to use, uh, kind of want to use Torpedo just a little bit. So Torpedo's there. And here we have another trainer, and he's like... My Pokemon won't evolve! Why? I can probably tell you why. 
He just won't listen to me. So here we go. Q-Ball wants to battle. And he's coming out with a Machoke. And as many of you guys already know, Machoke only evolves through, uh, what was it? Through trade. Which amazingly, you can actually get one right here. And well, look at our defense going down right here. So we're going to have to really, really hit this guy hard. And we almost defeat this guy. So let's go again. One more bubble beam attack and torpedo. Kicking some macho butt right here. And just like that, grows to level 32. And well, cue ball is just a. Uh, well, why you? <laughs> Okay, and Torpedo is evolving. Oh, wow. This this actually caught me off uh, guard, too. So there you go, guys. After the long, hard work, we finally get ourselves a Seedra right here. And uh, I can't wait to start playing Pokemon Crystal because Seedra is going to come in handy. Let's go ahead and take a look at his, uh, this new Pokemon right here. Seedra the Torpedo. It's only Water-type Pokemon. It is not a Dragon-type Pokemon. As you can see, its uh, physical defense is his strong point. Its speed's pretty dang good. Special is pretty good, but its physical attack is not that great. As you can see, it still has the same moves. It will eventually learn uh, Dragon Rage at some point. So we're going to be using him right here, I think, one last time before we get out of the cycling road. So here we go. Be a rebel. I think I already am a rebel. You just don't realize that. Okay, so here we go guys taking on a cue ball and here comes a primate. Okay now I know many of you guys are wondering about um, Pig hammer. Yes, I know I use it. I don't I don't use it all the way There are certain Pokemon that I've used in the past that I may have promised to continue using but Yeah, never really worked out and seriously fury swipes. Come on. Okay, here we go. Bubbly Beam gets this torpedo right here, and there we go. Primeape has been defeated, and well, let's see. Macho coming out, so let's go ahead and switch out. Let's go straight to Sir Razor, and well, it's kind of funny, but we ha we finally have a fully evolved team right here, except for the exception of Aaliyah, and as many of you guys already know, I think in this game, you can't evolve uh, your Pikachu, even if you wanted to. You're going to have to get yourself a Raichu through trade or another Pikachu through trade to evolve it. And I pretty much did that in one of our episodes when we traded for both Terramon and uh, Sir, or um, Ultra Psycho's evolutions. And well, look at that. He's not happy at all. I'm kind of happy. All right. So we're very close right here. We're not going to battle you. And boom. Would you look at that? We are finally at the end of Cycling Road right here. Going straight to, uh, what was it, Fuchsia City. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to check a look at what's over here. Now, if you go to this binoculars, you're going to see people are swimming. And if you go to this one, you're going to see Paltown in the west. Now, if you talk to this gentleman right here, he looks like a cook. I'm looking for a Tangela. Want to trade it for a Parasect? I do not have that Pokemon, but you can find Tanglas around here. And I will have an episode where you can actually trade for those Pokemon. Now... Here we have three bird type trainers. Let's go right ahead and continue on the battling by just using Aaliyah. Okay. The Aaliyah Show. Featuring Aaliyah. Kicking some butt, taking some names. Ha! Ah, dang. Hot diggity dog. Alrighty. So here we go. Taking on a bird keeper. And bird keeper coming with a Spiro. Not cool. Let's go straight for a Thunderbolt. And look at that. Okay. Alrighty. Thunderbolt. For the win, and let's see, we're just, yeah, we're just going to continue on with Aaliyah right here. Try to get it to level 39 at least. Anywho, guys, oh my god, oh my god, we did a lot of progress for just uh, so little time right here. And I'm actually loving the fact that I am actually uploading every single day a single episode. Eventually, I'm going to, I'm going to try and find the time to actually get some more episodes out. Like I said earlier, we're going to be doing, uh... Some of the remakes too, I know that I failed to finish up on some remakes, but there's a there's a reason why I didn't stop or I didn't continue on with Heart Gold or Brilliant Diamond. And that was because, uh, for one, it gave me a bad taste in my mouth. I kind of felt like I rushed uh, on Brilliant Diamond a little, not knowing what it actually gave out. And since I've already actually watched the whole walkthrough right there, I could see that you know I kind of I kind of messed up a little with picking up a team right here. So. 
What's going to happen is I'm probably going to redo Pokemon Brilliant Diamond to a point where, you know, uh, like, you know, I'm going to probably redo it to the point where, you know, it's just going to be a continuous thing for the weekends and stuff. I know that most of the content right now is just Pokemon Yellow, but I kind of want to bring out some more walkthroughs, some better walkthroughs, some better, uh, you know, edited walkthroughs right here. So let's continue on right here. Let's go straight for a Fero going up against my Olea. And uh, look at that. Fero is not feeling it right now. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. So, yep. The Bird Keeper is not happy. And we got one more guy to go. And this guy is talking about some bird call right here. And I do believe this is the bird trainer that has a, a Dodrio. And, yep, it looks like it is. It is. Dodrio, a scary fast Pokemon. Let's go straight for a Thunderbolt because, well, yes, it does not like that. Alrighty, and there we go. Dodrio has been defeated. And, well, <laughs> you had to bug me. Kind of funny. Anywho, here we are, guys. We are in Fuchsia City, and one of the big things that we're going to be doing here is we're going to be going straight to the Safari Zone. What we're going to do in there is we're going to get the HMs. We're going to try and capture some Pokemon that are needed, and uh, from there, I might just go off screen to battle everybody else. There's no need for me to actually showcase these extra battles except for just the the, the popular parts right here. So, uh, yeah, next episode we will be going into the Safari Zone. We're going to be doing a little exploration there, and then from there we'll see what happens. So thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to click on the subscription button. Uh, the notification button right there is there too if you guys want to catch every single one of these episodes. And if you guys want to make a small donation, the link's down in the description. I will see you guys for another episode of Pokemon Yellow. See you guys.